ಆಸ್ತ್ಯುತ್ತರಸ್ಯಾಂ ದಿಶಿ ದೇವತಾತ್ಮ ಹಿಮಾಲಯೋ ನಾಮ ನಗಾಧಿರಾಜ ಪೂರ್ವಾಪರೌ ವಾರಿನಿಧಿ ವಗಾಹ್ಯ ಸ್ಥಿತ ಪೃಥಿವ್ಯ ಇವ ಮಾನದಂಡ ವಿ ಫಿನಿಷ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಪದಂ ತುಷಾರ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಧೌತರತ್ತಂ ಯಸ್ಮಿನ್ ಅದೃಷ್ಟ್ವಾಪಿ ಹತದ್ವಿಪಾಂ ವಿದಂತಿ ಮಾರ್ಗ ನಖರಂದ್ರ ಮುಕ್ತೈ ಮುಕ್ತಾಫಲೈ ಕೇಸರಿ ಕಿರಾತ so the description of uh, himalayas is going on and uh, uh, we finished with the description of the kiratas there so next one is amekhalam sancharatam ghananam chayam adhas sanugata nishedya udvejitah vrishti bhir ashrayante shringani yasya atapavanti siddhah yasya shringani siddhah ಆಶ್ರಯಂತೆ ಸೊ ಎಸ್ ಹಿಮಾಲಯ ಶೃಂಗಾಣಿ ಶಿಖರ ಸಿದ್ಧಾ ಆಶ್ರಯಂತೆ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಣಿ ಜಂತು ಆರ್ ಸಿದ್ಧ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಹಿಮಾಲಯ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಈಚ್ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಸಾ ಅಪ್ಸರಸ್ತ್ರಿ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಸಾ ದ ಕಿರಾತ ದ ಹಂಟರ್ಸ್ ನೌ ಹಿ ಗೋಸ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ಸಿದ್ಧ ಪುರುಷ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿದ್ಧ ಪುರುಷ ಬಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಜನರಲಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಅಣಿಮಾ ಅಣಿಮಾ ಮಹಿಮಾ ಚೈವ ಲಘಿಮಾ ಗರಿಮಾ ತಥಾ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಾಕಾಮ್ಯಂ ಈಶಿತ್ವಂ ವಶಿತ್ವಂ ಚ ಅಷ್ಟ ಸಿದ್ಧಯ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಏಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿದ್ಧೀಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಯೋಗಿ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಅಷ್ಟಾಂಗ ಯೋಗಂ ದೇ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಅಚೀವ್ ದೀಸ್ ಅಷ್ಟಮ ಅಷ್ಟಮ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ and uh, those people who have either achieved them or who are in the uh, path maybe they have achieved one two whatever so they are those siddhas are uh, siddhas are those who have uh, uh, satva pradhana um, uh, chit so they don't have rajas or tamas and satva pradhana na yoga marge ye prachalantaha santaha they they are uh, uh, siddhas so these siddhas they are in the uh, himalayas so yasya shringani ashrayante they go to the shikharam and those uh, uh, the peaks of himalayas are atapavanti atapavanti here is means that which is constantly which has a lot of uh, uh, sunlight so it has a lot of sunlight atapam <clears throat> atapavanti uh, when do they go so they stay for some time in the places where there is uh, chaya uh, and then move on to the upper portions so ghananam chayam nishevya nishevya after uh, uh, experiencing or uh, uh, you know um um anubhavich um, amma experiencing yeah that's what you can say nishevya after uh, uh, experiencing the shadow chaya ghananam chayam nishevya ತದನಂತರಂ ವೃಷ್ಟಿ ಉದ್ವೇಜಿತ ಶಿಖರ ಆಶ್ರಯಂತೆ ವೇ ಹಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ ದ ಟಾಪ್ ಪೀಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಕವರ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಸನ್ಲೈಟ್ ದ ಮೇಘ ಮಂಡಲಂ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಿಡ್ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಟಾಪ್ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಟ್ರಬಲ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಸನ್ಲೈಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಸಿದ್ಧ ಪುರುಷ ಕಮ್ ಬಿಲೋ ದೇ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲ್ ಡೌನ್ to the area which is covered by the clouds to enjoy the shadow that is there to enjoy the shade that is there not shadow i keep saying shadow to enjoy the shade chaya that is there and after some time it starts raining vrishti bihi udvejita they get annoyed by this uh, uh, rains that come there and then immediately move up again okay so it's like taking shelter but instead of taking shelter we always think we take shelter under something but here it is the opposite they take shelter above the uh, clouds because the clouds occupy the mid portion of uh, himalayas uh, so amekhalam sancharatam ghananam megha the uh, uh, clouds are sancharatam they are moving around at the mekhala mekhala has two meanings one is uh, uh, um Uh, uh, one is very popular prasiddharthastu prayah you know it is the kati baga uh, kati pradesha uh, or katyam dharyamanam uh, bhushanam tasmin arthe mekhala iti upayujyate 
But here he says Mekhala also means the Sanu or the mountain regions. Um, he uses that mountain region in uh, even in Megha Sandesha. Raghupati Padai Rankitam Mekhala Asu. Even there, uh, you know, when the uh, Megha tries to move away. So when he takes the Sandesham from the Yaksha, the Yaksha says, uh, uh, take uh, leave of your friend. You are sitting on a mountain and uh, this mountain has Raghupati Padaihi Ankitam Mekhala Asu. Mekhala is the Madhya Bhaga Sanu, Madhya Bhaga uh, uh, of the mountains. So Mekhalam, A Mekhalam Sancharatam Ghananam. The Megha, the clouds can only move until the Mekhala. They cannot go beyond that. They do not uh, move beyond and go to the top portion of the uh, uh, Himalayas. So A Mekhalam Sancharatam Ghananam Chayam. Chayam Adhasanugataha Siddhaha Nishevya. So Adhasanu Gata. Adhasanu is the Madhya Bhaga Pradesh. Sanu is the uh, slopes of a mountain. Adhasanu is the lower portion, lower slopes of the mountain. So lowlands. So the lower slopes, they go to those lower slopes and Nishevya, Chayam Nishevya, after uh, uh, being in the shade of those clouds, Vrishtibihi Udvejitaha Santaha. Being bothered or irritated by the uh, rains that suddenly come from these clouds. Now it becomes very cold for them. So they need to go and uh, take shelter under, uh, from, take shelter at a place which has heat. So the natural heated portion is the shringa. So atapavanti shringani ashrayante siddha. So uh, the shringani are constantly being heated up. They have a lot of uh, uh, this, uh, uh, not constantly, it is actually Atishayena. Matu Partham can be of different types. Ninda Prasham Sasu. Bhuma Ninda Prasham Sasu. Bhuma Ninda Prasham Sasu. Prasham Sasu. This is where he uses, I think, Prashastartha. He says that in the Vyakhyanam. We can move on to the Vyakhyanam for just a few portions. So Siddhaha Amekalam Sancharatam Ghananam Chayam Adasanugataha Nishevya. After going to the lower slopes, they uh, be in that shade for some time. And then Vrishtibihi Udvejitaha Yasya Himalayasya Shungani Ashrayante Sanagadi Rajaha Asti. Hmm? You have to connect it to the first uh, uh, shloka. Now Siddhaha uh, sam, uh, Siddhaha Samprapta Ashtaishwaryaha Vishwavasu Pramukaha Devayonayaha. These are all Devayoni or uh, uh, semi divine beings, Vishwavasu, etc. These are they are called uh, Siddha. They have the Ashta Aishwaryam. Ashta Aishwaryam are those I told you Anima, Mahima, Garima, Laghima, Tatha, Praptihi, Prakamyam, um, Ishitvam, one more, Vashitvam. These are the eight uh, uh, Aishwaryam that they have. So those are also called Ashta Siddhi. Amekhalam atra abhividhau ang. Mariada is only until the uh, uh, megha, Mekhala portion. Here abhividhi, it includes the Madhyama portion. If I say Amekhalam as Mariada, you must have read this. Uh, um, then, uh, what is that sutra? Hmm. Ang, Mariada abhividhyoho. So when you use ang for uh, uh, ang can be used for to indicate mariyada or abhividhi. Mariyada is excluding and abhividhi is including. So here the megha includes the madhyama portion also. Mekhala iti madhyasanu pradeshaha. It includes the middle uh, slopes also. Tatraiva sancharatam ityarthaha. So ghananam meghanam chayam. Anatapam Adasanugataha Adhobage Yesanavaha Prastaha Santi Tanagataha. Here it is a um Dvitiya Tatpurusha Samasa. If you know, if you remember that Shirita Prapta, <clears throat> there is a sutram there. 
I forget the sutras. Praptaha santaha ushna badha nivritti paryantam nitaram sevitva ityartha. Nishevya, you have the upasarga ni here, tatra nitaram sevitva iti. So they happily stay there under the, uh, in that shade of uh, uh, the clouds. Chaya nishevane purvam atapena udvejitam hetuhu. So they must have been troubled by the heat before and that's why they must have traveled down to the lower slopes to enjoy the shade that is there. Punaha cha vrishtibihi udvejitaha peeditaha santaha bothered by it. Himavataha shringani shikharani ashrayante. Himavat shikareshu vartamanaha gandharvadayaha purvam atapa udvejitaha Kinchit kalam adhovartinaha bhutva. So initially they must have been bothered by the heat that is there on the uh, uh, um, peak portions you know, of uh, Himalayas. And then adhovartinaha bhutva, they stay in the lower portions. Chaya sukha manubhuya. Punaha cha shita badhayam. Shita badha is vrishti karanat tatra shitam bhavati. So shita badhayam jayamanayam. Shringa Pradesha meva ashrayante ityartaha. It's a very simple Vyakhyanam. So I'm not dwelling too much in translating that. So Shringa Nishevane Hetuhu Atapavanti iti. Now this is important because the Hetu indicates that there is Kavyalinga Alankara here. So Prashamsayam Matup Prashapstha Atapa Yuktani ityartaha. Prashasthatvam cha Sadhya eva shita badakatvam. Prashastam, you can say it means atishayam. So there is an A, uh, or it is famous for having a lot of heat. So immediately uh, uh, it can remove, it has the capability of removing the uh, cold uh, uh, wave that they experienced when the uh, rains happened. So atra parvatavartinam jananam chayatapayoho the reason for giving this, see, there should be a reason. Kalidasa never prayojanam aridhishya moodhovina pravartate. So, mandovina pravartate. Given that it is a Kalidasa's poem, what does he want to convey by saying, you know, Siddha Purusha, the, 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 the mountain peaks are always uh, 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 having heat. It is in sun. And then there are Megha in the middle portion. Then they come. What is the reason for that? No? So, Atra Parvatavartinam Jananam Chaya Atapayoho Yetheshta Nishevana Pratipadanena Atikranta Meghamargatva Pratipadanena Cha Asya Sarvakala Ramani Yatvam Aunatyam Chautam. Main portion is main part that he wants to convey through the shloka Sarvakala Ramani Yatvam. It's beautiful in any season. In fact, in uh, Megasandesham, Haste Leela, Kamala Malake, uh, Bala Kundendu, Pushpaha, I, Kusumaha. I, I, uh, so, uh, Haste Leela Kamala. He will talk about the first or two, second shloka in, uh, I think the second or something in the Pura Uttara Megham. He will talk about how he, he, the all six seasons exist in the Himalayas, in that uh, Amaravati. And all six seasons, there are different, different flowers indicate different, different seasons. And each flower is present in one lady itself. She has a Kamalam in her hand. She has Kundendu, Kunda Pushpa in her uh, head, which is uh, Grishma Ritu. Kamalam is uh, uh, a representative of Vasanta Ritu. Like this, he would describe each and every flower, which is unique to that particular season, as present at the same time. So, Tadrishoyam uh, uh, Himalaya, then did Sarvakala Ramani Yatomeva. Any beauty that is present in that particular Ritu is present here. So, you can enjoy the heat as well as if it is bothers you too much, you can go and sit in the shade for some time. And if the rain bothers you sometime, you can go and sit in the heat. So, Sarvatha Chaya Atapayoho Sattvatu Tatra Yatheshtam. Whatever he wants to uh, enjoy, the, anybody can enjoy that, it seems, it there. So, Megha Tadanantaram, Megha Marga Atikrantaha. It is beyond, it's uh, uh, taller than even the Megha uh, Margam. So, Aunatyam Sarvakala Ramani Yattam Cha Uktam Atra. Because of this description. Huh? So, Atra Kavyalinga Alankaraha. 
वृष्टिभ उद्वेजिता पदद्वय आतपवती पद से चृंग निषेवण हेतु शृंग निषेवण सो वै वै डू दे वै डू दे गो टू द श्रृंग to the um, peaks they want to live on the peak of the mountain there are two reasons that are given here in the shloka one is udvejita vrishti bi rata pavanti udvejita vrishti bi hi because they are bothered by rain hence they go to the peak if the peak was also extremely snow clad and uh, it was uh, uh, it was also covered in shade they would not find the um, uh, find it pleasing so he has included another padam also as hetu saying aadapavanti veyal irukku you know sometimes when when there is uh, uh, even during winter if you find the sun coming in for a brief moment if you just stand under that sun you will feel that heat it will seem as if it is heating up your body even during winter it should be that sort of a description i think we can understand because we have lived here ृष्टिंग No, he says padam there are two kavilingam sapo hmm. i am alanka ah, yeah tibir udvejita is one and then uh, the atapavanti is is, is shringani atapavanti so it's shatru right shatru bahuvachanam shringani yes. atap no no so, not shatru pratyam shatru. it is matup no no but, uh, no oh matup oh hmm. but, matup but, but it's it's the adjective to uh, shringani shringani, shringani yes. atapavanti so it is only padam okay. pada hetukam padartha hetukam not vakyartha hetukam ha 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 hmm what it thank you hmm yeah okay so aamekhalam sancharatam ghananam chhayam adassanugatam nishevya udvejita vrishti bir aashrayante shringani asya tapavanti siddhaha the next one is not clear so nyastakshara dhatu rasena yatra भूर्जत्वच कुंजर बिंदुषोणा व्रजंति विद्याधर सुंदरी and then it gives a rise gives uh, an udbodakatva for the sthayi bhava which is present as vasanatmakam in our mind and then we experience rasa so before getting into the entire rasam that is going to be portrayed in the eighth sarga he starts off by laying out the vibhava for us so he, he, within that uh, Uh, within the scene uddipana vibhavam or uh, uh, like himalayas is the scene where the entire play is going to be played out between uh, shiva and parvati within that he also kalidasa has to set the mood for shringara rasam so even in the description of himalayas he brings in little bits of uh, uh, smaller rasas we have still not experienced shringara as such in any of the shlokas that we have seen till now he has just shown that the apsaras three use the dhatu for uh, makeup and all that but now he gives uh, uh, four shlokas continuously to set a scene saying that this is the ideal place for uh, uh, vibhavam or it is also uh, in uh, in natyam we have four different types of abhinaya aharyam vachikam angikam and uh, uh, in the satvikam satvikam uh. satvika correct so all four abhinayas can also be found here even though this is a, a shravya kavyam the aharya abhinayam is something that is outside right so the 
um, um, Himalayas is like the expensive setting that you have. You imagine a movie where you have to have a huge uh, setting that is done by a great uh, artist. It, this Himalayas is like that setting that he gives for Shiva and Parvati. Without that beautiful setting, you can't uh, uh, evoke that rasa in people. So within that also, you can't just have the Himalayas in the background and have Shiva and Parvati stand there. But there are smaller elements. If you have gone to a, a Bharatanatyam a recital, you will find there are not only the hero or the heroine. You will find there are three, four people, you know, if it is a play or something like that, there will be three, four people doing their own job here. Two, two of them will be probably garlanding, some, making a garland. There will be another one plucking flowers. There will be another one, you know, throwing something, watering flowers. This is the stage that is being set up here. Only with that, you, you can have a holistic picture in your mind without that setup. And that setup can't be, you can't have suddenly have one Bhutagana standing there with one uh, axe in hand trying to kill someone. Then the Shingara Rasam will be gone there. It is, it is a Virodhi setup. So here he has to bring in that uh, uh, Anukula Rasa setup. So he talks about the love letter that Vidyadhara Stri write. So Vidyadhara Sundarinam Anangalekha kriyaya upayogam brajanti yatra yatra eh, himavate eh, himod parvate bhurjatvachaha anangalekha kriyaya upayogam brajanti. So, this bur burja is a, tri a type of uh, tree in the Himalayas which is commonly found. Uh, it is a birch tree. Okay, so the bark that is there on the uh, um, tree is very light gray in color, resembling an elephant. So the bark is very uh, like an elephant. And then these women, Vidyadhara Sundari, Nyasta Aksharaha, they are writing something there. They are writing a love letter for their uh, uh, beloved. So Nyasta Aksharaha, Nyasta Aha, Taihi, ta, ta, ta bihi, Sundari Bihi. These Vidyadharas three, they are writing a letter with Aksharam. They have written it with Dhatu Rasena. We found that there is Dhatu on Himalayas, which is some mineral. And that mineral is used as an ink by them. And Dhatu, dhatu Rasena, Nesta Aksharaha Bhurja Twachaha. This is an adjective to Bhurja Twacha. Bhurja is a type of tree. Twak is its skin. So the bark, the bark of the tree. So they use the bark of the tree. They probably strip it and then use it as letter, you know, like palm leaves to write. But palm leaves would be used in uh, plains where there are more of palm trees or something else. Whereas here in Himalayas, all they have to do is go and strip a tree and then start writing. They have minerals everywhere. And that, with those minerals, they make a rasam. So dhatu rasena. Nyasta Aksharaha, this Bhurja Twacha looks like an elephant, Kunjara, like an elephant. And those Nyasta Aksharam, the letters that they have written using the red ink, look like Bindu on the elephants. So when you look at older elephants, there are red spots on those elephants, which are called Padmaka. So those red spots, the more the red spots, the older the elephant is. This looks like a Kunjara Bindu Shona. He has to bring in Upama, right? He can't just say there is a love letter. He has to bring in an Upama uh, uh, for us to appreciate it more. So Bhurja, uh, Bhurja Twachaha, Tatra Bindu Shona, they look like the, the Aksharam that is present on that uh, uh, bark, love letter looks like the red spots that appear on the skin of an aged elephant. And the age of elephant may be known through that. And these characters resemble those red dots. So dhatu rasena yatra, yatra yasmin parvate dhatu rasena nestaksharaha kunjara bindu shonaha bhurjatvachaha. Now what are these? Vidyadara Sundarinam Ananga Lekha Ananga Manmatha Manmathasya Lekha Likhyate Iti Lekha It's a uh, letter, love letter that they are writing. Lekha Kriyaya Upayogam. Hmm. 
kriyaya upayogam vrajanti they become useful otherwise it's it has no use those birch trees are just there now here they become useful upayogam vrajanti because they are adopted by these ladies to write a lekha hmm uh, where is the vyakhyanam aha at ಅಥ ಶೃಂಗಾರ ಅಂಗಭೂತ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ಸಮೃದ್ಧಿ ಶೃಂಗಾರ ಅಂಗಭೂತ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ಸಮೃದ್ಧಿ ಅತ್ರ ವರ್ತತೆ ಅಸ್ಮಿನ್ ಪರ್ವತೆ ಇದು ಚತುರ್ಭಿ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಉಪವರ್ಣ್ಯತೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಸ್ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನರ್ ಸೊ ತತ್ರ ಆದೌ ಪ್ರಿಯತಮ ಆನಯನಾಯ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದ ಸೀನ್ ಕೆನ್ ಬಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ಲೇಡೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಟು ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಬಿಲವೆಡ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ಅ ಲವ್ ಲೆಟರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೆಮ್ ಸೊ ತು ಉಪಕರಣ ವರ್ತತೆ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಆನಯನಾಯ ತಮೃದ್ಧಿ ಅಪಿ ಅತ್ರ ವರ್ತತೆ ಲೇಖಾ ತ್ವಕ್ಕಿ ಅಸ್ತಿ ದ ಬಾರ್ಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ದ ಪೇಪರ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಪತ್ರ ಅಸ್ತಿ ದೆನ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮಿನರಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇರ್ ದ ಲೇಡೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ದೆ ಕೆನ್ ರೈಟ್ ದೋಸ್ ಲೆಟರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಯತ್ರ ಭೂರ್ಜತ್ವಚ ವಿದ್ಯಾಧರ ಸುಂದರಿ ಅನಂಗ ಲೇಖ ಕ್ರಿಯ ಉಪಯೋಗ ಪ್ರಚಂತಿ ದೇ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಯೂಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಭೂರ್ಜತ್ವಚ ಮೃದುತರ ತದ್ದೇಶ ಸುಲಭ ವೃಕ್ಷ ತ್ವಕ್ ವಿಶೇಷ ಸೊ ತದ್ದೇಶ ಸುಲಭ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅವೈಲಬಲ್ ವೆರಿ ಈಸಿಲಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಹಿಮೋತ್ ಪ್ರಾಂತ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಈಸಿಯರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೆಮ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ನೋ ಸೊ ವಿದ್ಯಾಧರ ಸುಂದರಿ ಅನಂಗ ಸೂಚಕ ಪತ್ರ ಅನಂಗ ಲೇಖ ತ್ರಿಯ ಕರಣೇನ ಉಪಯೋಗ ಉಪಯೋಗ ಅಂಗಭಾವ ಪ್ರಿಯತಮ ಆಹ್ವಾನೌ ಅತ್ಯರ್ಥಾತ್ ಸಿದ್ಧತಿ ಇತಿ ಅರ್ಥಾತ್ ಸಿದ್ಧತಿ ಸಾರಿ ಪ್ರಿಯತಮ ಆಹ್ವಾನ ಟು ಕಾಲ್ ದೆಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಸಿ ವೈ ವುಡ್ ದೇ ರೈಟ್ ಅ ಲವ್ ಲೆಟರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟು ಕಾಲ್ ದೆಮ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಕ್ಲೂಸ್ ದಟ್ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪಂಡಿತ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ಟು ಅಪ್ರಿಷಿಯೇಟ್ ದ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಈವನ್ ಮಚ್ ಮೋರ್ he goes into depth and gives us these small small things sarvatra hi thali patradau atmanaha sandeshane vilikhya kaminyaha kamukebhya prayachanti so usually they use thali patram to write and send himavati tu bhurjatvakshu iti bhavah because there are more of that uh, tree here tena manohara taranam bhurjatvacham sundarinam cha ನಿರವಧಿಕತ್ವಂ ಧನ್ಯತೆ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ ಟು ಬ್ಯೂಟಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಹಿಮಾಲಯಸ್ ಯು ಫೈಂಡ್ ದ ಲೇಡೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವೆರಿ ಲವ್ಲಿ ಥಾಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಟ್ ದೋಸ್ ಥಾಟ್ಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಅ ಲೆಟರ್ ಟುಡೇ ಲೆಟರ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಟಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಸೊ ಮನೋಹರ ತರಾಂ ಭೂರ್ಜತ್ವಚ ಸುಂದರಿ ನಿರವಧಿಕತ್ವ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಡರ್ತ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೆಮ್ ದೇರ್ ಉಪಯೋಗ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಆಹ ಧಾತುರಸೇನ ನೆಕ್ತಾಕ್ಷರ ಧಾತುರಸ ಧಾತು ದ್ರವ ಸೊ ಗೈರಿಕ ರಸ ವಿಲಿಖಿತ ಅಕ್ಷರ ಇತ್ಯರ್ಥ ಎನಿ ಐಡಿಯಾ ವಾಟ್ ಗೈರಿಕ ಕೆನ್ ಮೀನ್ ಗಿರೌಭವಂಟ್ ಯಾರ ಎದು ಅನಕ್ಕೆ ಇದಲ ಅಲಂಕಾರ ಇರಕರ ಮಾರಿ ತಿರಿಲ್ಲ ಓಕೆ ನೀ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೈರಿಕ ರಸ ವಿಲಿಖಿತ ಅಕ್ಷರ ಹಾ ಗೈರಿಕ ರಸಂ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಧಾತು ರಸಂ ಧಾತು ರಸ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮಿನರಲ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಗಿರಿ ಗಿರಿ ಗಿರೌ ಭವಂ ಗೈರಿಕಂ ಗೈರಿಕಂ ರಸ ಗೈರಿಕಂ ರಸಮೇವ ಧಾತು ರಸ ಧಾತು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಮೀನ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ವಿ ಗೋ ಟು ವ್ಯಾಕರಣಂ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಧಾತು ಯು ನೋ ಅ ವರ್ಬ್ the root of a verb whereas there is uh, in ayurveda it is also sapta dhatu in our body majja vasa all that whereas here that dhatu means mineral so gire girau bhavam whatever is present in a mountain that uh, dhatu tasya uh, dhatu ho rasam upayujya uh, vilikhyate mm mm-hmm. okay so the ananga suchakam is ananga is kama so kama kama deva so kama suchakam mm. yeah the, the love letter is that ananga lekha 
அனங்க சூச்சகம் பத்திரம் அனங்க ஏன பத்திரேண சூச்சியே தாதம் பத்திரம் அனங்க பத்திரம் கூப்படுறதுக்கு வந்து இது அங்கமா போயிடுறது இந்த முதல் சாதனமா சொல்றது லெட்டர் இல்லன்னா எப்படி கூப்பிடுறது பரபாகர்ஷனீயத்துவம் I don't know what he means by that. Parabhagam. Atishayam. Atishayena darshaniyam. That's what we're talking about. The trees are also very beautiful to see when they have those red. So a grey uh, uh, letter with a red the contrast. It looks very nice. <laughs> Parabhaga darshaniyatva. Okay. Can we move on to the next one? The name of Shiva. Vidyadara means Shiva, right? Usually. Vidyadara. Uh, no vidyadara is a type of being like uh, um, you know siddha kinnara and all that oh. apsara sir remember in amara kosha vidyadara so ah yeah yaksha ah vidyadara pro yaksha pro gandharva got it yeah. Yeah. yeah they are all different types of beings they are uh, uh, i think dakshanoda the ponngal vandu kalyanam panninde avargaloda race nanikire they are all see yakshas kubera uh, like uh, ravana and all that they are all s- children of uh, uh, pulastya yeah, mm, different races mm. got it yeah oh. okay uh i can move on to the next one we have time okay yav purayan keechaka randra bhagana dari mukhothena samiranena udgasyata ichchati kinnaranam tana pradayitvam eva upagantu uh தானப்பிரதாயத்துவம் நோ ஹிமாலயஸ் ஹிமாத் பர்வதா வாண்ட்ஸ் டு பி அ ஃபிளாட்டிஸ்ட் டு த பீப்புள் ஹூ ஆர் சிங்கிங் தேர் த நெக்ஸ்ட் இஸ் கின்னரா இட் ஹேஸ் அ லாட் ஆஃப் நேச்சுரல் மியூசிக் தட் இஸ் பிரசன்ட் ஸோ த ஹிமாலயன் ரீஜன் இஸ் ஃபில்ட் வித் மெனி பேம்பூ ஷூட்ஸ் அண்ட் தோஸ் பேம்பூ ஷூட்ஸ் ஹாவ் அ லாட் ஆஃப் ஹோல்ஸ் இன் தெம் விண்ட் கோஸ் த்ரூ தட் and uh, imagine there are so many different bamboo trees and himalayas has is playing on all those flutes he wants to provide musical accompaniment to the uh, kinnaras who are singing there so the kinnaras are those who have a horse's body but a human face kim purusha are those who have a horse's face and body of a human so in the vyakhyana he says that we'll come to that so yaha ஹிமோத் பர்வதம் பூரையன் கீச்சக ரந்திர பாகான பூரையன் கேன தரி முகோத்தேன சமீரணேன பூரையன் ஹி யூசஸ் திஸ் விண்ட் ஆஸ் அன் இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்ட் ஹி டேக்ஸ் தட் விண்ட் அண்ட் மேக்ஸ் இட் ஃப்ளோ த்ரூ த கீச்சக ரந்திர பாகான கீச்சகம் இஸ் பேம்பூ பேம்பூ ஹேஸ் அ லாட் ஆஃப் ரந்திரம் சித்ரம் கீச்சகேஷு வம்ச வம்ச இஸ் ஆல்சோ கீச்சகம் ஸோ தேஷு ரந்திரபாகானு ஆபூரையன்னு சமீரணேன வென் யூ இட்ஸ் லைக் வென் ஃபிளாட்டிஸ்ட் ட்ரைட்ஸ் டு யூ நோ தே ஹேவ் டு ப்ளோ ஃபில் இட் வித் ஏர் அண்ட் வென் தட் ஏர் கம்ஸ் த்ரூ அவுட் ஆஃப் ஈச் ஹோல் டிபெண்ட்ஸ் ஆன் த டிஸ்டன்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் வேர் த மவுத் இஸ் ஆர் விச் ஹோல் இஸ் க்ளோஸ்ட் விச் ஹோல் இஸ் நாட் க்ளோஸ்ட் இட் டிபெண்ட்ஸ் ஆன் தட் அண்ட் த பிச் ஆஃப் த sound also differs because of that so dari mukhothena samiranena keechakarandra dari mukham ah dari mukham here is guha uh, um, caves there are caves there and those caves have um this wind is not just simply passing through these bamboo with holes it actually comes from the caves so imagine himalayas is the mountain is filled with different caves and the caves are of different different shapes 
and when you use your mouth to blow into a flute you have to use different different types of mouth shapes to blow the air to control the air movement so it imagines himalayas as a big flautist here ha huh? so dari mukha don't take it as singular here so dari uh, guhanam mukheshu mukhebhyah uthitah sam, samira samirana uh, samirana ha uh, okay i think so uh, so this samira this is come out of the different shaped mouths of the different uh, you know the caves that are there on himalayas so dari mukha uthena samiranena kichak randra bhagan aapurayan now what does he want to do himalayas utkasyatam kinnaranam there are kinnara stree who are singing who want to sing this is not uh, they are already singing okay even before they start singing you have to provide shruti box there or the instrumentalist will first show one chaya now uh, in dance programs or uh, you know in the, the first is the the thing that comes out is the instrumental music in a vocal concert also uh, the first thing is the both instruments have to try to match to the shruti the th- tambura will start and then only the singer starts singing so utgasyatam kinnaranam litlakara hatra shatrapati but it is not that they have already started with gayatam na utgasyatam they are going to start so before that himalayas wants to provide that instrumental music for them tana pradayitvam upagantum iva ichchati it's as if he wants to he wishes to ichchati to tana pradayitvam na tanam is a uh, technical term and the vyakhyata gives the definition for all that uh, uh, here so before that tanam is just a, uh, think of it as an a, a prelude a musical prelude that himalayas wants to provide uh, the setting for kinnaras to start singing so they say tan purala ಹೀಸ್ <laughs> take the place or he wants to give them a relief so they are probably been singing for a long time or they are going to start singing uh, to give them the introduction you know this is how it should be they will actually provide in instruments like flute or veena usually starts off with the ragam that the singer wants to start and then sings a little bit they they show it a little bit and then the singer takes on from there that's how it is so tana pradayitvam as if he wants to give that for the udgasyatam kinnarana for those kinnaras who want to sing uh, let's look at the vyakhyanam a little bit uddeepana sadbhavam api aha they want to write a letter there so that is the vibhavam so we have the vidyadhara stree who are writing uh, a letter to the priyatama and uh, you need the proper setting for it nice sweet music should come there should be a light breeze also he is setting the scene here uh, so with the light breeze that comes there is instrumental music and then the song is going to come right so uddeepana vibhavam it is like a kindling effect for that uh, small love play that he wants to show before so dari mukottena samiranena keechakarandra bhaganu purayanne ಉದ್ಘಾಸ್ಯತಾಂ ಕಿನ್ನರಾಂ ತಾನ ಪ್ರದಾಯಿತ್ವಂ ಉಪಗಂತು ಇಚ್ಛತಿ ಇವ ನೋ ಯೋ ಹಿಮವಾನ್ ದರಿ ಏವ ಮುಖಂ ದರಿ ಮುಖಂ ದರಿ ಗುಹ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಪ್ಲೂರಲ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾತ ಡಸನ್ ಗಿವ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಪ್ಲೂರಲ್ ಐ ಪ್ರಿಫರ್ ಇಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಪ್ಲೂರಲ್ ಸೊ ತಸ್ಯಾಹ ಮುಖತ್ವ ಆರೋಪ ವಂಶ ಪೂರಣ ಉತ್ಪ್ರೇಕ್ಷಾ ಸಿದ್ಧ್ಯರ್ಥ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಟು ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಫ್ಲೂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಫ್ಲೂಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಫಿಲ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಏರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ಏರ್ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ಲೋನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಮೌತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ಉತ್ಪ್ರೇಕ್ಷ ಇನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಹಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ದರಿ ಏವ ಮುಖಂ ಇತಿ ವದತಿ okay hmm uh yeah i told about this rit adesha so uchchaihi ganam karishyatam 
न तु कुरुवताम दान प्रदानस्य गान आरंभात पूर्वमेव कर्तव्यत्व नियमात दान प्रदानम सो देयर आर अ कपल ऑफ डिस्कश डिस्कशंस अबाउट व्हाट इज तानम द नाउ डेज तान्स आर टोटली डिफरेंट द हिंदुस्तानी तान्स आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द साउथ इंडियन तान्स दैट यू से uh it can south indian tans can be without talam whereas uh, the that which is in hindustani is with the tal otherwise that is not tan so it's a different uh, uh, um i think it's because of how music has developed over the centuries and the influences of other music also this specific tan that tana that he says is the the introductory music that the instrument provides for the vocalist purvameva kartavyatva niyamat tana pradanam tu gana arambhat purvameva kartavya udgasyatam ityuktam natu tad gayatam udgayatam iti kinnaranam kimpurushanam now he gives the definition for kinnara and kimpurusha the difference between kinnara and kimpurusha it is very useful to note here because this will have an effect later he will talk about kim purusha in another context ashvamukhaha anashvamukhaha cha dividaha kinnaraha two types ashvamukhaha mukha vyatirikteshu gatreshu narakrutaya so ashvamukhaha only their face is that of a horse their body is that of human so anashvamukhaha tu mukhe narakrutaya itaratra cha ashvaakrutaya अत एव नर किमयुष किमयुष नर दट इज दुत्पत्ति फॉर दोस् वर्ड्स किं पुष एंड किं नर किमयुति शंकाजनक उभे च जाति सो दोस् टू किं नर एंड किं पुष आर् टू डिफ्रेंट जाति हियर Uh, so he uses in is quoting a shloka from shishupalavadha where uh, he uses both kinnara and kimpursha hmm? um udgatavyasya swaradehe iyatta parichedaha tanah hmm. tana the definition of tana is uh, very different from what is uh, given in uh, sangeeta ratnakara this sangeeta ratnakara definition is um, uh, tanyate iti tanah tanyate is vardhyate that which is expanded elaborated you have seven swaras that make up a ragam or you can have audava shadava you can have five swaras or six swaras that make up a ragam when there is an elaboration of those basic swaras keeping in mind certain amsha swara amsha swaras are many 10 in type you can have a nyasa swaram vaadi samvaadi So, which is also called sanyasa vinyasa these are all different types of swaras that are present within those you qualify those seven swaras into 10 actually or the basic arohanam avarohanam and then use those different types of swaras in different combinations to produce a picture of that ragam so the ragam is not just those swaras you can't look at the seven, my my sir would always say you know you can't sing uh, using a textbook you have to know what is the essence of that ragam only through a guru mukha or listening to it more not by looking at the you know sangeeta ratnakara definitions that are there so tanam might be totally different from what is being sung today dvika trika chatushkaha syuhu gneya vamshagataha swaraha i don't want to get into the Uh, details of that the one that will be interesting is gata yam yam swaram gacchete tam tam vamshena vadayet so those swaras that have to be used by the uh, singers are being used by the vamsha uh, that is the flautist in the beginning to show that this is the and the adha ragathinudey or aasa kaamikiradhukku apdi vaasthu kaamipa modalla adukapra nam paadina adu vandu odane namakku or or jora irukum வர்ச்சே அந்த ஆசுதா வந்து அந்த தானம் சரி யதா கேஷுசித் காதும் ஆரப்தேஷு how much ever theory you read sometimes you have to go to the main thing and then understand that's why he says iyatta parichedam they show the outline of that ragam that is called tanam himalayas here is trying to say that he can be a flautist that's all i feel ha uh, 
the alankara here is rupaka alankaram dari eva mukham te te tasmat uttitam na tebhya uttitam so dari mukhottena ityatra rupakam alankara and ichati eva we also have that adena udgatum ichati eva there is a small discussion about utreksha alankara we can take it up next time or you read it and then let me know if you understand because the utreksha here even though the entire scene is being fancied by the poet he still says it is kriya utpreksham and with the kriya utpreksham there can also be other utprekshas that are gamyam ichati eva can actually prompt a vastu utpreksha also hetu utpreksha also but you always go by the pradhana utpreksham which is the kriya utpreksha here okay i think we'll stop with this uh kichaka randra bhagana yav purayan kichaka randra bhagana dari mukha uthena samiranena udgasyata ichchati kinnaranam tana pradayitvam ivo upagantu kalidasa loves to use this kichaka randra bhagam or kichaka ih he uses this in even raghuvamsha megha sandesham in raghuvamsha is this a kichaka maruta pu sa kichaka maruta purna randraihi kujadbir apadita vamsha vamsha krityam the same you know the same idea is used there also in uh, mega sandesham also he will use it uh, giyate kinnarabihi kichaka puryamanaha giyate kinnarabihi mega sandesham also where once he comes to the nature description he must have lived in the north right ujjaini is closer to the uh, hills and he loves to uh, uh, enjoy the nature i guess hmm? okay stop with this